If you still use those crappy Roblox Studio models for scene G effects, this tutorial is for you. Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, there is something I want to say in case I sound a little bit weird. I just pierced myself. Again. And said this time it was my lip, last time it was my eyebrow. But the bar is too small. Again. So I have another one coming in. Here's what my lip currently looks like. So I'm sorry if I sound a little odd, I don't know. It's just like... I can't talk, right? All right, so moving on to the video, here are some examples of the CNG effects that I made. I'll have you know, I do not specialize in CNG effects as, like at all. I don't even sell them. So I'm just going to give you the basics because I don't even know what I'm doing myself. Guys, I low-key recorded this like two weeks ago and I'm just doing the voiceover now, so I kind of forgot what I'm doing. First things first, let's export the avatar we are going to use. If you are using multiple avatars, you must export them in multiple different folders. Now we're gonna go ahead, open Blender, get rid of this pop-up, and delete the cube. Instead of using Roblox Studio for the model, I'm going to go and show you guys how to use Sketchfab, but you are going to need to use an add-on. Click on the link in the description, press this zip file, and it should download it. Once downloaded, we're going to head on back to Blender, press on Edit, Preferences, and Install. Now scroll all the way down until you see the zip file, then you're going to open it. I didn't do this part because I already have it installed. Once you've installed it, make sure this box next to the name is checked or it won't work. Now you're gonna go ahead and go to this little arrow and then you're going to press on the Sketchfab button. I already do have an account, but you are going to need to make one. Once you've done that, go ahead and press the log in button. There's multiple ways you can search for scenes, but I'm gonna go ahead and select import from URL. Then go to the Sketchfab website and click on the search bar. You guys can search anything you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and search street I have used this scene, I think, twice before, and it's really cute, so I'm going to go ahead and use it as an example. So, once you click on it, go ahead and copy the link. Now, head back to Blender and go ahead and import the URL, and then click Import Model. Once imported, let's go ahead and click on the Materials tab. And now we can see we have a model imported, but it is in the ground and when I select it, it only selects one item. So just go ahead and click on it on the side and then you can move it up. Now that we have our model imported, I'm going to go ahead and select where I want the camera to be. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and go into rendered mode to figure out the lighting. Lighting depends on where your GFX is, inside, outside, day, and night. If it is outside and it is daytime, just go ahead and use a sun. My setting is nighttime, so I'm gonna go ahead and add point lights to where the colored lights are. As you can see at the bar sign, there is going to be some light there and at the exit sign. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and import our rig. As you can see, it is obviously way too big for the setting, but we are going to change that later. For now, don't touch it or resize it at all. Just go ahead, add the textures and bone the accessories. Yay! Now let's get out of pose mode, click on the gear icon, and press S on your keyboard, and you're going to make the character smaller. Go ahead and pose the character, I was just too lazy to. Wow, it looks great, doesn't it? No. But it will, because this is just the render, and obviously you guys can add whatever else you want to it to make it a lot better. Because look, here was the render that I did. And here is what I did with the same scene. Oh my god, oh my god, so you're so emotional. Please, 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 Anyway, thank you all for watching this video, and thank you guys so, so much for the fan art. It is wonderful. And of course, thank you to the server boosters. You guys are helping so, so much. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more tutorials and fun videos, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, loves. Bye.